Hello, let's talk about graphing rational functions. Um, here we have an equation, a rational function, y equals 3 divided by 2x minus 4. Basically, the way you graph this, um, you want to look at a few main um, concepts to graph this. Graph those particular points or undefined points, lines, and then sketch your graph by plotting points. That's the easiest way to graph functions. Also, you want to graph this in like a um, TI-83 graphing calculator or advanced grapher or some type of software. It just makes life easier. Um, here, you want to look at your x-intercepts. Well, let's see. To find your x-intercept, that's simply where the graph will cross the x-axis, where it crosses the x-axis. Well, to find the x-intercept, you basically just take your numerator, set it equal to 0. Don't worry about the denominator for the x-intercept. You set your numerator equal to 0. And since it's just a 3 in the numerator, there are no x-intercepts. No x-intercepts. This graph does not cross the x-axis. Um, y-intercept, you set your denom you, excuse me, you set your, yeah, your denominator equal to 0. Why? Because in this particular function, you want to know when is this particular function going to be um, cross the y-axis. Well, you're going to plug a 0 in for x. You plug a 0 in for x, solve for y, it'll tell you when this graph will cross the y-axis, when your x is equal to 0. Well, I did that over here. 3 divided by 2 times 0 minus 4, that's 0. And now I have 3 over negative 4. This is your y-intercept. This graph will cross the y-axis at y equals negative 3 over 4. Um, here, let's look at our vertical asymptote. What is a vertical asymptote? This is where there is an undefined line, an asymptote line, where this graph will never touch. It will get extremely close to it, but it will never touch it. Well, the way you find the vertical asymptote, you basically take this function. If it's a fraction, you're going to set your denominator equal to 0. And then you're going to solve that for x, because I want to know when is this function going to be equal to 0. So I went 2x minus 4, set it equal to 0. Just solve for x here. x is equal to 2. There will be a vertical line at 2 for this particular function. Well, I could also look at your horizontal asymptote. This one, um, this is where there's a horizontal line across the graph, and it's going to be undefined there. Well, let's look for the horizontal asymptote. Well, there's a few things you have to consider with the horizontal asymptote. You're focusing on the exponent of the leading coefficient. Exponent of the leading coefficient. Well, this one has a 3 in the numerator. It doesn't really have a leading coefficient. Well, this, this is the leading coefficient. But I want to look at this, x to the 0. Because x to the 0 is just 1. And it just helps with explanations if I write it as x to the 0. Because it doesn't make a difference. This is just 1 times 3. OK? Follow me. Well, here, if my numerator exponent is smaller, then my horizontal asymptote is y equals 0. Because this graph is going to continually get closer and closer to 0, but never touch. So notice this is 0. This is an understood 1. So here, the numerator exponent is smaller than the denominator exponent. So for this particular function, it has a horizontal asymptote of 0. If the numerator exponent was larger, then it would have none. If the numerator exponent is the same as the denominator exponent, let's say this is x to the 1 and this is x to the 1, well, your horizontal asymptote would simply be the coefficients. So if this were 1 and this were 1, my horizontal um, asymptote would be 3 over 2. And let's actually go to a graph and see what this looks like. Here's the function y equals 3 over 2x minus 4. And this particular function, you'll notice it's not shown here, but there is a undefined line through 2. And that's going to be your vertical asymptote. Also, there's an undefined line at y equals 0, or really the x-axis. And if you were to sketch a few points over here, sketch a few points over here, that would be your graph.